This episode of Coach and Crawl is brought to you by Surpro of Conway and Faulkner Counties, like it never even happened, and by the Greenbrier Football Letterman's Club. Well, Coach, um, Farmington came in here last week, and you know one thing about it is that, uh, like you and I kind of discussed, that Farmington was a very good football team, and and I've actually read in some publications that they were picked to finish second in the 5A West. So, you know, kind of what were your thoughts on the game last Friday night? Well, uh, Farmington was a really solid and physical football team. I, I think uh, they, they were more physical than us. And I don't like saying that at all because that's something we, we always want to always, con- always want to control. Um, you know, I, I think um, our inexperience we made – stupid mistakes, you know, our, and, and, uh, and, and put ourselves in, in bad situations. And we were, were just not uh, able to over, overcome that. But I, but I thought they were really solid. Their defense was really good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really, uh, really good defense. Their, their front four was really physical and strong, athletic guys. I think their linebackers were really – Really good, and they protected their middle linebacker. And he's a very—he's uh, an exceptional athlete and strong and physical. And uh, they just let him run and make plays, and, and didn't allow blockers to get to him much. So, uh, and you know, they—they they earned that victory. They yeah. whipped us. They whipped us uh, uh, really good, and uh, you know, controlled most. Um, you know, we were able to throw the football for 240 or something yards. But we weren't able to run the football with any consistency at all, and, and it'll be it'll be hard for us to win if we don't get better running the football. And yeah. that's uh, what we're right. You know, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to be able to throw it, hopefully, uh, some. But it, it'll it'll open things up and make it so much better if we can run the football. But we weren't able to do that. Uh, they they were able to. Uh, you know, run the ball on us and kind of control the ball some. So we're we're trying to. Uh, find the find the answers to that and uh, shore that up and uh, ho- hopefully uh, hopefully you know we're going to be we'll be better this week. Oh, absolutely, and, and you know that kind of leads into my next question. You know, you always hear that a team gets better from week one to week two. So, what do you want to see out of the guys this week in practice? Well, you know, we've we've practiced real hard. Uh, you know, trying to really focus on on being being more physical. Defensively, really trying to get our running game, uh, r- really trying to get our running game going, and uh, you know, I really we really need to see improvement in those areas, and just our physicalness as a team, and our ability to, to run the football, our ability to stop the run, and uh, and I think we will see improvement in, in all those uh, in all those areas, and and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm I've always I've always heard, and I've always told my teams that you can it should be more improvement from game one to game two than any other game and and we know you're the right with they're the right kind of kids and they want to work hard they want to be good and so we're expecting to see a huge improvement this week so big game this week uh i guess it's still a rivalry game mm-hmm. traveling over to bologna yeah. um uh, uh, so, what will it take for for Greenbrier to come out of there uh, with a victory over Bologna Friday night? Well, I, I, I think just what I was talking about. I think we we've, we've got to be able to run the football and, and get, so that's going to be key. Then. Yeah, that'll be a really really key. I think for us to be able to run the football better. I, I you know I, I I think that's important, and I think I think we will. And I, I hope it's a, a whole lot better. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I think we will. I think that's real important because I believe if we do that, we'll we'll we will uh, have enough passing game to go with that. That we'll score, that we'll score points. You know, and uh, we scored twenty points last week without being able to run the ball that's a lick, yeah. just about. You yeah. know, and so uh, I think if if we can. Uh, Run the ball and 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 make them have to really work to stop the run. Then that's going to make it easier to throw. And and uh, uh, you know I think our 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 quarterback and some of our skill guys are are guys that can uh, make uh, big plays in the passing game if if we if we can put the, that pressure on them and not knowing whether we're going to run or pass. And then and then uh, uh, being more physical and just solid on on defense. You know yeah. not giving up big plays and. Uh, 
and 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 not letting them just drive the ball that you know and and, and run the clock and make first right. downs and get us tired because they're staying on the field so long yeah i think i think those are those things are real important and i, I believe you'll see an improvement in those areas awesome well hey good luck friday night looking forward to all it. right thanks Eddie. This episode of Coaching Carl was brought to you by Serpro of Conway and Faulkner Counties, like it never even happened, and by the Greenbrier Football Letterman's Club. Mm-hmm.